<laughs> well, now six in forever. Rock a block, rock a fella. I'm feeling it, feel yeah. the bash and take the time away. I'm feeling it, feel Marcy. the legs pushing up on the side. I'm sand. feeling it, feel the high that you get from the line. I'm feeling it. If you feel the I keep it real in the most, sky. I know you're feeling it. Crystals are nice, I like the toes, I keep on spilling it. Bone crushes, I keep real close, I got the skill for this. On my back, the flag. I started Kung Fu at three years old, so that's my background. I have a background Kung Fu that um, all various types of like Japanese martial arts, Chinese martial arts, and then starting started boxing in 1975 with Izzy Sterling. I've been boxing for 36 years, you know, and involved in boxing for 36 years. I got accumulated like 250 fights. <laughs> well, I, I was trained at a gym and um, I met Ali. And Ali, I worked with him and he said, wow, you're a different kind of trainer. I said, well, I have a martial arts background. And um, he saw the difference. He goes, would you be interested in training MMA fighters? I said, sure, because that's exactly where my background comes from. So, you know, so he saw me. Came down and I started working with him. He's my first student, and then he made me train Sapo. I trained Sapo for all the three fights from Travis Lou to on. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's been successful. You know, it's been very good. <laughs> well, the first thing they understand is that you know you're supposed to bow, bow respect. You know, show respect. And the thing is, this is a gentleman sport. I mean, all the tough guys are in jail, right? This is not jail. This is this is a sport. You stand, and what happens is, remember, if you want respect, you got to give respect, and that's the number one thing, first thing. And that's why I love about this because they still keep it. This gentleman, in fact, is in this. If we understand this is a sport, you we're not out to kill nobody. We we have to have fun, you know, and make money and make you know, uh, uh, entertain, entertain the people so we can get some revenue and everybody can get and to make a name. And these guys, these guys, I'm talking about. You see them, they're the most humblest guys, and, and they get down and dirty. <laughs> well, now six and forever. Rock a block, rock a fella. I'm feeling it, feel yeah. the bash, and the real the I'm feeling it, feel the legs pushing up on the sand. I understand in the beginning because, you know, the Valley Tulo and all that it was very rough. When I did the full contact, back then we didn't have no, no equipment. Even when I started boxing, we had no headgear. But now they have it too where, you know, the referees are jumping in. The referee jumps in. The minute they see any kind of, you know, stuff that he's not responding, he's incoherent, they jump in. I mean, there's more injuries in, in football than there is now in MMA. You understand? Or in boxing, period. People don't understand. And what happens, they're doing is they're judging from the outside. Come in here. Whoever this is going to, come in here and, and see us, for real. See what we do. And you're going to see what kind of gentleman aspect we have here. It's not just what you think, because everybody said, oh, because they see blood. I said, when your kid falls, you're going to see blood. You understand? What's the difference? But it's, they, they got to come. You know who we have? We have Renzo Gracie's over here, 30th Street, Manhattan. You come check us out. Whatever I got to sign, whatever got to be my vote, I'm there with you, and I have 100 people behind me. <laughs> you know, it's not about being tough. It's about being smart. To be a gentleman like Mike, I was taught is to walk away. So that's what they teach here. But I love that keep that, you know, that's still tradition, which is very, very important. I mean, Renzo's a gentleman, Sapo, all these guys that, I mean, they're gentlemen. And meanwhile, they're, they're the toughest dudes around. I hope we can push and get MMA legalized. We need it. It's very, very important. I mean, as far as being an ex-fighter myself and, and as far as being involved in this, mm -hmm. MMA is one of the best things that, that happened. No, it's a sliced bread. <laughs> Pele. Uh, Pele. Yeah, yeah, the Brazilian dude. Yeah, that's, that's the father, man. They, they, yeah. they don't give him the, res you know, they don't give him the recognition. They give him the respect, but they don't give him the recognition. That's the man. Him and my man Anderson. If you feel the I keep it real in the most, sky. I know you're feeling it. Crystals are nice, I like the toes, I keep on spilling it. Bone crushes, I keep real close, I got the skill for this.